Hi, this is John Kenlapos again. Let's go and construct the ultimate slit lamp shield. Uh, we're going to use the very sophisticated instruments here of a paper scissors, letter size cellophane sheets, and the specs that I'm sharing with you. We took these specs to create a cardboard template. And this is exactly these specs, both in metric and uh, imperial system, millimeters and inches. And this is as simple as taking your cellophane letter size sheet. And instead of going right at the edge of your sheet in order to create a better shield for your eyes, we're going one inch lower. So we're going to start an inch lower. We're going to use a Sharpie marker. And we're gonna delineate just this. That's all you need to do. And this is obviously the space where the oculars from your slit lamp or your surgical microscope will enter. I realize that the uh, letter size is a little bit bigger than the commercially available template, but that's okay, that's a better shield. So on this uh, model now, we're just gonna round out the corners so we don't bump into them and get a paper cut or, God forbid, we poke an eye with it. So we well round the edges. This is kind of fun to do. So now you have a well rounded in edges, clear cellophane sheet, and then we'll enter with the scissors in our dead center and carve it around to end up with your perfect end product. This is it. It takes just a few seconds, and that's all you need to do. Hope you found this interesting. It's extremely simple. Some slit lamps come, uh, some older models, I remember in, in my training in New York, uh, used to come with a plexiglass uh, shield between the examiner and the examinee. And this is the very flexible, it's made out of uh, just a, you can find this in any copy store a cellophane uh, letter size sheet and we've carved out this uh, universal opening that will fit most uh, actually all of slit lamps and um, uh, we place it right over the oculars to fit right at the edge of the oculars and my pd is quite large so i'm going to adjust it uh, adjust it on uh, maximal pd and this way i can come in and examine and this does not harbor at all um, does not make difficult at all the uh, management of the slit lamp. You can see how easily my hands move around it, nor will it make difficult the IOP measurement or the adjustment of the Goldman applicator, as you can see here. And it creates a very good shield. We went with a commercially available model and created a larger shield on the top of this, and then um, uh, made it a little bit longer than usual. Uh, so this is now a letter size uh, cellophane sheet and we took the standard opening that was present in some of the um, more rigid um, uh, plexiglass or acrylic uh, structures that go over slit lamps and we made it longer and uh, these are the specs we'll share with you. It takes a few minutes to make and it creates a nice uh, um, shield between the examiner and the examinee and vice versa. So I hope you find this helpful and interesting uh, to care for our patients, to protect our staff, and of course ourselves. This is John Kenlapos signing up. Thank you. Okay, so here's our ready product. The shield prepared as we saw before. I'm um, narrowing the pupillary distance on this slit lamp, and we're gonna see how easy it is to place over. Let it fit right between the oculars and the slit lamp. And then my pupillary distance is maximum 75. And see how well it sits in place and how it shields the examiner from the examinee, how easy it is. And I'm gonna show you here by sitting in the slit lamp to bring my hands through it while viewing through the optics of my slit lamp and make all the adjustments or even measure the intraocular pressure. Exact same scenario here with our Hextrite slit lamp you can see how well and how flexible it is in changing the pupillary distance and how it shields all the functions 
that the clinician may do, uh, even tonometry, adjusting the Goldman applinator. This is, a, as I mentioned, hex trite slit lamp. Same thing here with a Visualas laser. Again, you can see how easily this can come out. Pretty much fit in any, any microscope, more or less slit lamp, come in, position in place, and then adjust the pupillary distance. We have uh, several of these. These are the CSO slip lamps, beautiful pictures. And same trick here, adjusting the pupillary distance and using this very easy self-made shield from a uh, cellophane letter size, a pair of scissors and the parameters I mentioned to you. Again, I'm gonna narrow the pupillary distance place our shield in place and then adjust it accordingly. Again, intraocular pressure measurement. I'm going to switch hands here on my iPhone. I apologize. All the measurements, all the settings can be done very easily with the hand moving around the shield. All right, so this is what we were trying to make here. The little stickers, uh, blue stickers here on the side are just to protect us from not bumping into it. And this, as I promised, are the um, specs in both uh, metric and imperial system, millimeters and uh, inches. And again, uh, this is a little bit smaller than a letter size. And these are the final images of it being placed on the slip lamp. So very easy way, you can do it within a few minutes, how to protect you and your patients. This is John Kenalopoulos uh, signing out. Thanks so much for watching this.